important do you think the role of, of satire is in, in South African theatres? Do you know, I don't think it's important. I think, I think satire is a flavour um, of criticism and a flavour of highlighting what's happening. It's like a very bright yellow cokey pen yes. that you highlight. Um, I think in the old days when the world was relatively normal, satire was pretty shocking and pretty uh, 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 um, uh, uh, didn't take prisoners and mm -hmm. was brutal. The world is so brutal now. I mean, what, 24 hours ago, ISIS executed 40 yeah. people by chopping their heads off on camera. Excuse me, this is not, this is not the reality TV mm. that I expect to see on the news. Um, so I think the sort of satire has to be familiar, recognizable, um, true. Don't add noughts for effect, mm -hmm. because one can on stage. You've got a lot of power there. Don't demean, don't insult, but certainly um, offend. I like offense. How do, you, how do you draw that line? How do you not demean or insult but offend? Well, you know, is demean and insult is pretty obvious. You're insulting people, making them feel bad because mm. of their weight, because of their looks, because of where they come from, because of how they speak. Right. But to offend people is to actually scratch there, is to rattle the cage, mm. because that's not the way they think about something. People are offended about... Um, religious comedy. Right. Excuse me, are you telling me that God has no sense of humor? He made us, I mean, hello. <laughs> um, so uh, I think it's very important to, uh, to make people actually sit up and think, hey, you're not allowed to say that. Are you allowed to say that? Am I allowed to think that? Am I allowed to be here? People even say to me, mm -hmm. am I allowed to laugh at the government? Can I laugh at Jacob Zuma? Well, look, he laughs at himself. Yeah. Does he laugh at himself or is he laughing at us? Um, I've had a lot of experience in this arena of um, minefield comedy. So one does put one's foot on the TikTok every now and mm -hmm. then. But you've got to also get a balance. And you know, it's so important that entertainment is the most important part of this. I need you to give me your time. I take at least four hours of your time if you're going to come to the theatre. I will gladly give it to you. Thank you. You're but you know, people don't particularly want to leave their homes when they've come home after a hard day's yeah. work, after the traffic. They want a whiskey and they want to watch something on TV that makes them sleepy after two minutes. <laughs> Their wives usually buy tickets. <laughs> oh my God, we've got to go see Peter Degas. Oh God, isn't he that, that man that dresses as a woman? Oh, who needs that? Well, okay. <laughs> you know, they've got to feed their Rottweiler, set their burglar alarms, they've got to reverse their cars, it, it hoping the burglars don't run. Break. You know, get into the traffic, become a racist within 40 seconds. <laughs> Park your car at the theater, kiss your car goodbye because you never know if it's there when you come out. And then you've got to come in, you've got to sit down, and I have got to change your life. Mm. The point of my show tonight, and for the next four weeks at the Theatre on the Bay, it's called An Audience with Peter Degage, but it's about the audience. It's about you coming to me. If you didn't come and sit there, I wouldn't be there. It's live because you have made it possible. It's a freedom of expression that democracy celebrates. Um, and it's a tribute to the audience, meaning the audience choose. Okay, here you are. There are a lot of numbers. What do you want? You choose. Choose the lucky number, okay, choose the unlucky number, let's see who's there. My job is to, to, I suppose, create a necklace of all these jewels into something that looks fashionable. So it's got to be a complete whole when you come to the end of the evening and say, gosh, that was, he went from here to here to here to here. But there's no script for the in-between. I mean, I've got to Roll talk to you sponges. and use all sorts of things that are familiar and that have happened in the news. And, and that's, that's life. That's wow. live. There's nothing that's in a computer or, you know, that this back projection. It's just me and boxes and I dress and undress in front of you. Well, that could be, I think that that's good. That could be good. It, it won't be, be, be 50 it shades be of grey. Sure. But I have to uh, keep your attention and uh, surprise you with mm -hmm. things. And I've been doing it now for a long time, 40 years. Uh, and it's very good to be the, every night has got to be the first and the last, meaning 100% every time.